Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wiki Maitula and if it, the, if it is the first time you tuning in, I hope you stay, enjoy and please do not forget to subscribe. Oh my gosh, my stuff is lit. <laughs> I'm never on my desk chair when I'm filming, so this is like a exciting vibe okay, today we're gonna do a little reflection mini reflection of the year well any reflection is a reflection so let me not call it mini we're gonna do a reflection of the year while i am testing out a makeup look so the girlies have been doing this one eyeshadow look for beginners and they're speaking to me yes after doing my makeup for most almost 10 years i am still considering myself as a beginner because gas so this year has been it's been interesting it hasn't been as tough as the prior years we thank god <laughs> i feel like i finally got my break like i have been praying for this kind of year without praying for this kind of year and by that i mean <sighs> i hoped for it but i didn't think it was possible to feel the way i'm feeling now there was a time i didn't think i'd be able to navigate the world or life like a normal person of course that sounds like hilarious but that's just how i felt like i'm like hmm. i can wake up and like not feel like i want the world to end anticipate and look forward to things and be excited again genuinely I can't. <laughs> Guys, that is good. Yeah, I could have never imagined it. I'm probably gonna be too distracted to speak and do my brows. So let me come back after my brows. So essentially, I just feel like I'm in a space where I am growing into self. I feel like I'm finding myself again. I'm finding, you know, this life participation thing again do i have no bad days no i do but i feel like i have relatively normal bad days now compared to before where every day was a bad day and then maybe once or twice a month i was having a goodish day or you know something of the sort now most days most days feel like okay and then there are like those like down days and i'm able to deal with them and come back from them even quick that's just been so refreshing i'm trying to like set new goals for my life because oh we're living and we're in it and it's okay that's just uh, quite shocking for me but i'm taking it the year didn't even start off on a good foot but I'm in my no oversharing era. Aren't you guys shocked? I'm shocked. There are things that would have normally <sighs> like ruined, you know, my experience of the year. Like I came into this year with a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of unforgiveness. I don't think I have fully forgiven yet so that's something I am still struggling with and at this point will I even do makeup guys because I'm realizing they're chatty also more than anything I think this video is going to be me learning how to apply lashes so let's look forward to that grateful for my mom's health my mom has been um, in and out of hospital in the last 12 months uh, I mean not multiple times but twice in the last 12 months and that's been a bit scary so I'm grateful for that and general in terms of overall personal growth I feel like even this fitness journey for me has been a big point in my personal growth because had you asked me like a few months ago or you know let's say last year if I would see myself being like a walker a you know jogger I'd be like who are you talking to be for real for real so i'm very happy that that's my life now like i am a jogger i am a jogger who jogs at least three times a week and like it doesn't feel like suffering nothing worth mentioning is just in terms of the personal growth 
is how I am becoming more and more tuned to self. Um, I think I've spent most of the last few years like just because I think I think it was also driven by the fact that I didn't want to be here. So I wasn't really doing things that I like or that I want to do. Um, I was also overexerting myself and like trying to show up for people. And that's a big one. Um, that I noticed that I was showing up for people or that I've been showing up for people more than what I actually have the capacity for. And obviously that also leads to disappointment because no human being should be doing that much for anyone. And therefore when people weren't able to show up for me in the ways that I was showing up for them, I was filled with a lot of disappointment and just a lot of sadness around friendships and like, what do you mean? Who are you in my life? And there are many lessons or that I've learned around that. One, um, we talk about it a lot, like the one about disappointment. You are going to be disappointed by people, most especially if your expectations are all in your head and all based on what I would do. I would do that. So why wouldn't she do that? Which was a place that I was operating from a lot. And therapy has helped me in just learning that baby, <laughs> if people, people don't live in here. So if you're not going to talk... <laughs> you gonna have to accept the defeat right um and talking about it or sharing expectations another painful thing that i experienced was like sharing expectations does not guarantee that people will then adjust and like you know behave or act in the way that you expect them to right sharing expectations just covers like the first half it just helps you be able to manage them better because if you and the person that you're expecting things from are aligned in what you believe or what you think or what you would like them to do for you then you're not like just hoping and praying that they will just miraculously do the things that you want them to do for you okay and shout out to my partner for the one where he alerted me that a lot of my disappointment and sadness comes from the fact that I don't speak things out. So even with my friends and my family, like I just, you know, sweep things out of the carpet. We don't have to talk about it. And for me, I had learned, I think I used to be quite confrontational and then I just stopped because I just felt like, hmm, for what, eh? Like... And then what? Like, okay, then I tell you how I feel, how it made me feel, why I'm sad. But, like, if... Uh, I think I just became less vulnerable at some point. Like, vulnerability seems stupid. Um, and not because it is stupid. It just felt stupid. Just because you shared your expectations with people does not make them, like, firstly, reasonable. Like, we've we've moved into this, like... Um, over validation period which <laughs> is hilarious because you know, one thing about me I like to be validated but one of the effects of this is that you think just because you thought something and you felt something that it should be and my darling let me tell you it shall not be just because you felt it that it will be that way and sometimes you're feelings are valid and you need to then make the decision of how you're going to move forward so if the person if someone says that they can't show up for you in the ways that you would like them to you then need to make the decision then my doll that um how are we going to deal with this you know which is going to be tough but it's been it's been tough for me but Joanne, because i don't feel like a lot like i don't feel as sad anymore now that i've shared have people been able to show up for me in the ways that i expect them to <sighs> not necessarily not always but it does not bring me to uh like down degree anymore because i have now also moved on in the way that i believe we should show up for each in the way that i believe we should show up for each other damn and you're so dirty but yeah like we should show up for each other in the ways that make sense 
And I think there was a part of me that really just wanted to be a Jesus about it. I wanted to be oh Jesus. Oh me Jesus about it. And my darling, you're not Jesus. So you're going to be very disappointed because you're doing a bit too much. And too much just depends on you. And so hey man decide how you want this to look like for you decide how you're going to move forward with it uh, i genuinely don't know where my brush is like there's a thinner one but let's try this oh it's not doing the tricks anyway as i was saying um Moving on from that, in terms of personal, I am learning to do things or learning to question the things that I like and whether I want to do something instead of doing things just because the people I love want to do them. Because I've been experiencing very like low times when like going out or doing things and I learned that it's because I don't enjoy those things anymore so oh i look crazy this year has opened that for me like i'm not at the point that i want to be in in terms of like being able to decipher when i want to do something or being able to say no when certain things are offered like certain invites are done but i'm slowly becoming a girlie who's able to be like hmm I don't think I want to do that. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up, this chat up about personal growth. On a professional level, I think I've grown a lot. And that is more, you know, I can see it in the way that I respond to things, in the way that things that used to give me a lot of anxiety don't um, give me a lot of anxiety anymore. And that is not necessarily just because like of course when you're in a space and you've been in it for a long time you will eventually like just like i think it's it's more than just um growing into a space uh i think it has a lot to do or i believe it has a lot to do with the environment that i'm in because it's not that things necessarily changed <laughs> Like in terms of my life and things that must happen. It's that I'm just in a better space for those things. I don't know why I'm reverse contouring when I'm going to actually contour. But that was one of the things I picked up that I'm not, I'm no longer thinking about. Mm, I can't wait to quit my job. <laughs> like I used to be more, what's this thing? I used to be more inclined to quit my job, but now, baby, it's gonna take a lot for me to quit my job. Like, you're not just gonna have me quit my job. What do you mean? So, that's felt really good that, like, I'm not constantly in a planning phase or in a fear phase or tempted to type a resignation letter. Um, and, like I said, like, I'm absolutely grateful to God because baby <laughs> i have seen things i oh my doll oh this is too far up but anyway we'll deal with you i've seen things i've seen a couple of things i'm trying this like minimal foundation also my foundation color is so light and did me dirty like, I was at the store, and because I haven't bought foundation in years, I actually don't know what my color is. And I still don't know what my color is, because my previous color didn't feel like it was my match. And now my new color is way lighter than my previous color, so it's just like... <laughs> Drama! Guys, I'm doing the craziest thing. I've never mixed these colors the way I am today. It's love about makeup. It just it doesn't need to make sense. It's just fun for me. Professionally, I feel like I've been in such a good space and like just been 
blessed with like the best managers guys i just really let me just catch up without me doing this makeup because how do i talk and do this thing I was trying to cheat the system and the system said nope <laughs> even when you're trying to do something so I've seen people like go over their contours and well highlighter but I'm not going to try that because I've tried it but I'm just mm, well mm -mm. and I just obviously I do feel that at some point I am going to have to leave because like it's like become like my comfort zone like I've reached my comfort zone and I feel like I need a new challenge in my life so something that comfortable does not feel like it aligns with the things God wants for me like or the ambition that I have unfortunately so that makes me sad that I know <laughs> my time there isn't forever I do think though that it's the kind of place that I'll go back to like once I'm over everything and I just want to have a job that I do and I know I'm gonna go home and you know but I feel like we're not at that place yet I'm not in a place in my final place yet I also don't even know if I'm in my final career path like I think there's more for me and it's gonna I need a challenge right and I'm stressed because <laughs> if there's one thing about me I want an easy life or I fought for this easy life and now I am saying that this easy life is not the one like no there needs to be more um and that's tough but what are you gonna say you know what are you actually gonna say i think i'm going to experience a couple of changes in the next two years um obviously i don't want to put too much pressure on 30 but i feel like i feel like we are moving I don't even know where we are child with this conversation but point is i think there's been a lot of improvement in my life like this year this is most probably my favorite year since 2014. <laughs> it took nine years to experience some level of joy again i also feel like i've come i'm slowly coming back into my spiritual um self like the spiritual journey has restarted again for the 11th million time but i'm grateful that every time it restarts i feel even closer to god because i am under no pressure to you know do too much or like every single time i start again i'm like girl this time just try just go to god and not try like stress about what has been what has happened when things you know went where yeah mm. okay dokes. oh i'm so in my workout attire guys because one thing about me i was like if i'm gonna do play around with makeup i'm gonna use bath one time <laughs> but guys i really think life is about to get better and I'm experiencing that and that feels good. Maybe that feels amazing. And and like I do hope for others. Because I know like it, it feels weird for me right now that I can't really relate to Ngoro like the way I used to. Like I really there are things that make me go on, sure. But it's not the same way that I used to go on and <laughs> baby if you told me that I'm not gonna go like that in a long time I would have said you're lying I'm learning to just enjoy life again 
and just to be present in the ways that I can, in the ways that don't feel like overexertion. Um, yeah. Will I or will I not be able to put on a lash? Find out in the next episode of Dream Girls Dream. You just clean this lash up. Just to wrap it up, I think my biggest win for this year has been not being five to resigning at any point. Like since I started working five years ago, I every job that I've had, I was like looking forward to the end, which was always in less than a year or a year. And with this one, I'm just like, Sana, we're here. And that's been great. My other big wins my, have been my fitness journey. Just the fact that I've been outside at least once every month this year. <laughs> Madness. Me cooking was also something I never really expected to come to enjoy or whatever and oh look at me i broke i broke i got too rough and then the thing was gone but yeah so this year has been good and i really hope like this goodness that i'm feeling i wish i could share it with some of you guys i wish i could share it with you guys because it's just been so good <laughs> even things that would normally make me upset i've noticed they don't like i don't lose it like i would normally lose it so we're winning somewhere somehow something's happening the sun is going down let me come back when this face is done but guys please let me know how you guys this year has been so i don't know if you see this flash doesn't want to stick literally this one at the end is is giving not wanting to stick as well but but i think we're nearly there. I didn't panic, and I think obviously I didn't panic because there was no event. Okay, the contour is a bit dark. And I'm using a foundation brush, hoping to get excess foundation on there. Okay. Guys, I also forgot to bake. Wow, so many things happened. I genuinely forgot. <laughs> Has it not started cracking yet? It seems a bit useless because I'm about to wash this face. But let's. You know? My setting spray, it's not the old one. So I don't even know if it has. Raisa Lip Combo. I think I want a brown. Hold on, this color. Blush it up. Not if you say Lisa Schmidt Zambak. Erot. GG, what? Yeah, because I'm not using up my lip gloss with these colors right now. We need not even show it when they win. Okay. That is the face. Um, tell me what you guys think, where I can improve, if you guys know what I can do. Uh, you know, the lashes, baby. The lashes, the lashes girlies did my applying them wasn't that difficult. I think the trick here is to apply without a rush which means we're gonna have to start getting ready earlier if your problem is like mine that you get anxious and then it just goes wrong we're just gonna have to start prepping way earlier and then with everything else i had a base before situation um 
I'm not sure because I feel like there are areas that might not have uh, you know foundation like and not have any makeup so I think I'm gonna go in next time with a thin layer of makeup all over and then do the rest but let me know let me know and yeah so my face um if you enjoyed this video then i will do another one where i try a makeup again this time not three years later of course and yeah it's been good